what's up guys welcome back today we are doing a full face of sephora sale recommendations you will see in this video basically everything that i am obsessed with have been for years have been using every single day that i do my makeup we also do a tutorial of this look this has basically been the makeup look that i do when i do a full face of makeup you guys are gonna love these products they're all so so good they're all just amazing and i just love them all so much i use them in almost every video i also included some skincare and a couple hair products in there in case you're looking but i hope this is helpful as you shop for the sephora sale i'll link everything for you guys below let's jump right in okay so the first item is a pricey one but i am telling you right now this product single-handedly changed my skin and that's why i will be stocking up on the sephora sale and this is the tatcha dewy skin cream i slept on this for so long i saw people using it and i just like did not get the hype and then i finally caved and bought it because it is pregnancy safe and oh my god it has single-handedly changed my skin so for tatcha i'm gonna be stocking up on the dewy cream and then my other favorite product from them is this and this is the rice polish whoa, whoa, whoa. rice polish classic the classic one. Oh my god it is so amazing for exfoliating again those two products single-handedly like saved my skin during pregnancy i'm obsessed with them and i know they're expensive but i feel like since it's the sale this is the time so we'll do a couple of skincare things first the next is this eye cream and this is actually I can do this now because of this cool new container they came out with so this is the first aid beauty brightening glow eye cream this eye cream i have used for years years and i love it i love it when i'm doing a full face of makeup or a light makeup day basically this is my morning eye cream it gives this gorgeous glow it has niacinamide in it so it'll brighten up your dark circles over time but it also has like this orangey tint to kind of offset dark circles that you already have so it works immediately but also over time it hydrates like crazy like look at that Okay, also, do you see the glow from that Tatcha? It is so gorgeous under makeup. So those three, and then the last skincare, I'm gonna keep it as basic and as like pared down as I can and only include products that I am like truly, truly, truly obsessed with. Not even that I just like, like obsessed. Okay, this is the Tower 28 spray. Again, if you are struggling with your skin, I just got this in PR and I'm so excited. It's so good. You can freaking bathe in this stuff. You can put it on multiple times a day. You can put it on at night. It's just a spray to like kind of reset and calm your skin. And it helps if you are acne prone so much. So if I just feel like icky and I'm like, oh, my skin is just eh, this is what I grab for. And I try and use it as frequently as possible. And it has made my skin so much better. So I'm gonna let that melt in for a minute and then we'll start throwing on some makeup. So I do have a little blemish that I picked. That's my fault. And then this one never heals. But honestly, other than that, I have a little texture, but my skin for 35 weeks pregnant, oh my God, I'm 35 weeks pregnant today, looks really good. I mean, it is glowy. It is relatively even. I always have redness around my nose, but I just feel like the skincare products I've been using have just been and have worked so well. Okay, so the next thing you absolutely need. Okay, if you haven't tried this Say Glowy Super Gel, if you watch my channel, you know this is a non-negotiable. I use it every single day, no matter what I put on my face. I generally we'll go for star glow it's the lighter shade but as we're getting closer to the warmer months i would challenge you to also try sun glow i actually am mixing them together right now and once i get like an actual tan this summer i will probably just use sun glow my natural normal skin tone is more suited for star glow but I love them both. You guys know I love glowy skin. It just, I think it just looks so, it makes you look so healthy. This is just another layer of that. And it is the lightest consistency. It feels like you have nothing on your skin. Like, I feel like a lot of people will compare it to Charlotte Tilbury, Hollywood Flawless, or e.l.f. Halo Glow. These are super similar, but these are gonna give you way more coverage and they're thicker. The Say product is so light. It is so dewy. It is so hydrating. It just gives this immediate gorgeous glow there's really nothing more to say about it i mean it completely speaks for itself it's stunning so i will put that on either by itself or i will do it under my foundation skin product so i'm going to use my charlotte hollywood flawless filter today i've really been using my elf product more the halo glow just like the coverage that it gives so if you are between those i would honestly say go with the elf and save your money and don't get the charlotte i don't think you need it but it is an amazing product so if you want to get something at this for sale that's similar to this definitely get this one i do shade three um sephora just doesn't sell elf products so 
I usually get mine on Amazon. Okay, we're just gonna buff that into the skin. And like I said, it's gonna even everything out. It's gonna give another layer of glow, but a little bit of coverage. And this is why I tend to go for the e.l.f. one more because it gives me more coverage and I don't have to use a foundation. So that's what I've been doing, but I just wanted to put this on for you in case you are considering getting it. I love this product. I just don't, now that the e.l.f. one came out and I use those two, that say product, the Glowy Super Gel, I really don't feel like it's like, completely necessary in my routine anymore, which is wild because it's always been one of my favorite products, but it does make the skin look gorgeous. I mean, we are, <laughs> we are really glowing at this point. Let's move on to foundation because I feel like this is one that you just, if you're looking for a good foundation, this is the one I can't stop using. So House Labs, it is the Tri, what is it? Tri Cyclone Skin Tech Foundation. It is so blurring. It is so velvety, beautiful. I will just show you what it does to my skin. You don't need much of this. I'm just gonna go on the back of my hand with one pump. I may go in with one more, but I don't think I'm gonna need to. I'm just gonna kind of buff this into my brush and then I will show you the magic. So this foundation just basically perfects everything on my face. Like I said, it blurs my skin in a way that's like, what just happened? The first time I used it, I was so shocked by it. And that was a year and a half ago now. And I cannot stop using it. It's the only one I grabbed for. So I would say it's like a medium coverage foundation, which is perfect for me, in my opinion. I don't love like full, full, full coverage anymore. And I need more than light coverage. So this one I would say is medium. It is like a velvet finish. So it's not gonna be super matte. It's not gonna be super glowy. It's right in the middle, which I think is so beautifully like skin like clearly we are super glowy right now because of all the other products we have on our face but if you had less glowy products you probably have a little less glow right now but not to say that that foundation's not glowy because it is okay so i'm gonna leave it like this we're gonna get them the coverage that we want on like our imperfections from our concealer but i'm gonna leave the skin here right now i think this is a really good base and we're gonna move right into bronzer so, or contour so i will be restocking on this because i am at this is literally the bottom can you guys see that <laughs> that's it this is the rare beauty contour stick in the shade bright side i will 100 percent be getting one or more of these during the sephora sale i can't believe how frequently i use this again this is an everyday product for me it's so easy it's so quick it seems like it wouldn't be an everyday product because it is a contour stick which i feel like just inherently seems like this is like okay only if i'm doing full glam but no it's the way this blends out it's the way it makes my skin look it's the way it gives my face shape you can be really liberal with it and you're not going to feel like you have too much you can also be really light with it and it gets the job done for this product i like to use some kind of dense brush just to press it into the skin i find with a sponge it will disappear a little bit more this way it just kind of becomes one with the skin so this is an amazon brush it is my favorite contour stick and i have used so so many you can see it just gives this really effortless warmth to the skin even though it's not like a warm shade bright side i would say is a more neutral shade but it just puts life back into my face i feel like you can't tell that i have it on like the way it blends out is so amazing next up for blush you already know we are gonna do say dewy blush and this is in the shade baby i think i'm gonna buy 15 of these during the sephora sale because again every dang day i'm using this it is so good i just love this shade baby i think it is the prettiest cool tone pink you really don't need much of this but i have found i used to use in previous videos you've probably seen me use a kind of fluffier angled brush for this but what i have found is that will eat a lot of this product up so what i started doing was just pushing this in with my finger and a little goes a long way you can see it just melts into the skin though like how freaking gorgeous is that the color is to die for i'm gonna bring it up a little bit underneath the eye since i've been in concealer yet look at that i mean look at that oh my god it is so gorgeous i would like to marry it <laughs> I think it's so beautiful. I also like to use this on the bridge of my nose and then I'll also do any excess just like on my lids to give me a little color. And I put this on my lips at the end too, you guys will see. We are very dewy right now. Don't think I don't know that, I do. Don't worry, we are going to set and be completely airbrushed in a hot minute, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with that. And then I'll probably just grab like, like I said, this little angled brush and kind of stipple it out a little bit more just where i want like where i'm like okay i have plenty there just like that we're gonna leave it like that and now let's move on to concealer so my rec for 
concealer is the Tower 28. This concealer does not play games. It is so stunning. It is so creamy. It is so light while giving amazing coverage. I'm obsessed with it. I really, it has taken the place of all of my other concealers. I mean, yes, I love other concealers a lot. I really love Kosas. I liked the Givenchy for a long time. This one does something to me that I, I can't, I can't not use it, which tells me it's good, you know, cause I have so many when I keep grabbing for the exact same one and I don't swap it out, I know it's good. It does everything right. It doesn't settle, it doesn't dry, but it's not so creamy that it doesn't give the coverage. Like I said, I haven't been wearing foundation. I've only been wearing this or I've been using like my e.l.f. Halo Glow and then this for like the coverage and I love it. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a minute. And for brows, I haven't been like dying over any new brow products. I really gravitate towards Benefit for brow. The only other recommendation I would give would be Kosas. I think Kosas makes really awesome brow products. I love this one is the Brow Pop in the shade Medium Brown. I love this one because it has the spoolie on one side and the product on the other side. It's really creamy, it goes right on. I think this shade is a perfect match for me. So I love this. I also love their Nano, their little Nano brow pencil. It's teeny tiny. If you just want like really, really, really fine strokes, I love that one. Or I would just do the Benefit. It's basically the Benefit version of this is also great. And then the Benefit Gel is my favorite, which I'll put on in a minute. But I would say if you're looking for a good brow product, my two favorite brands are Kosas and Benefit for brows at the moment. Benefit is like, stood the test of time. Kosas is like great new stuff I've been trying and I've been using consistently. Also, I've been letting my concealer sit while I do my brows and especially with this Tower 28 concealer, I feel like it makes a difference because it is so creamy. I almost like when it like sets on my face before I blend it out. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, I'll finish this brow up and come right back. We are back, brows are on. 24 hour brow setter from Benefit is the GOAT. I will use this every single day with nothing else on my brows or I will use it to top my brows once I fill them in. You can get like this kind of laminated effect if you want. You can also just use the long, there's a long side and a short side. So the long side is good to just like coat them and make them stay. The short side is if you want them a little more laminated, you can kind of push this in up against the skin and that'll make them hold right there. But it's so good. It's not crunchy. It's not all the stuff that you don't like from a, a brow gel, this won't do it to you. That's basically what I'm gonna say. Again, stood the test of time. I've used this for, I can't even, probably 10 years. <laughs> so this is a Kylie Cosmetics brush. 99% sure you can't get this on this for sale, but I love this for concealer. It's like this triangle and it just fits right where I need it. But anyway, point is I don't necessarily like to use a sponge with this. I like to use a brush and I stamp it as if it were a sponge. Look at how that concealer blends out. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It just, it's flawless. I really feel like it airbrushes the under eye and the rest of the skin. Like you can see how creamy it is and how I just think the creamier, the better, as long as it's gonna like stay in place and give you that coverage. I'm obsessed with it. I can't say enough good things about it, but yeah, I do think letting it sit there for a minute is great. I think it blurs. Like I have these little lines on my forehead whenever I like blend this out, it blurs them away. It's like a filter. Oh, so good. The skin is skinning right now though. Woo! It's time to set this bad boy. And you guys already know what I'm gonna say. You already know, unless you're new here, you might not know. If you're gonna buy one setting powder from this forest sale, I've used them all, I've tried them all, I have opinions on them all, but the best one for me and for my skin is the Givenchy Prism Lieb. It's the shade Voila Rose. It is this pink kind of, well, it's a quad. So I think that's part of the magic, but it's like this pink powder. And I like to put it in the cap. I'm gonna grab a clean puff. I have like tons of these. These are from Amazon. They're so cheap and they're the best. But this is very necessary for this product. I'm gonna stamp this in, make sure I get this coated. So I like the whole, like every angle inside of the triangle puff to be pretty coated. And then any excess, we're gonna tap off onto a clean part of our hand. That just, trust, just trust me. We don't want too much. And watch, just watch what happens. We have no lines right now because nothing is settling, but here we go. Did you see that? And I'm doing these tiny micro press really lightly. Where did my pores just go? Where did they go? They disappeared. Oh my God. I just don't understand. Every time I put this on every day, I'm like, I don't get it. Like, how did you guys do that? Okay. So I feel like it speaks for itself. Like I said, this is the time to buy it. Sephora sale. 
get a little sale on it, stock up, grab two or three, but it lasts so long. So if you're not willing to make the investment right now, get the mini. The mini will last you a long time too. And then you can really confirm that you love it. I promise you will love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone that uses it is like, oh my God, Sarah. I'm like, oh, I know. I feel like it's a little slept on. Like, I feel like the people who know it know it's good. But there's a lot of people that are still using like, no offense, but Laura Mercier. I don't like that one, drives me out. Doesn't do nearly what this does. Huda, it's too thick for me. I like it, it's a good powder. This one's better. I just, it's better than every powder I've ever used. And I'm telling you, I've used a lot of them. Keep in mind, this is obviously my skin. What works for me may not work as well for you, but I mean, it is, she has no pores. She is a porcelain doll. It's really crazy. I almost feel like it should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just not the, it's not, I'm not being honest right now with the, after this powder, you know? It's not the honest truth. Okay, from there, once most of my face is done, I keep it focused on the under eye, but I will just grab any excess of my calf on like a little, just a little Amazon brush and I just kind of tap in the rest. But I just want to make sure nothing's like sitting on my face in like a thick way. Like I just want to kind of like, Make sure it's all blended out. All right, we're gonna move right along to bronzer. First bronzer rec is House Labs. I use the shade Light Level 4. Again, this is a blurring, gorgeous bronzer, and this is all I've been grabbing for. The other one that I will mention, if you have tried this one, maybe you don't like it, is the Charlotte Tilbury. I will show you that in one second. Let's just focus on her right now because, oh, it's so beautiful. This color is so good. The shade, if you're similar skin tone to me, you can see what it just did. Look at the shape on the side of my face. We just cut at least five pounds off my face. <laughs> it's really crazy, especially with like a nice angled brush. It's obviously just bringing warmth to the face too because it's a beautiful bronzer. I like to bring it up onto my temple. And again, you can see I'm not swiping, I'm pushing in like it's a sponge, I'm just pushing. And then I do the sides of my nose for a little bit of shape there. And then kind of everywhere we put that rare beauty contour stick is where I kind of hit with bronzer, but you can be really quote unquote heavy handed with this and it's not gonna look crazy. Like it just makes your skin look better, especially on top of that prism lead powder, you guys. Oh, okay, I'll also do a little bit on my lids. I might grab an eyeshadow brush and do like a little more precise, but I really don't need to. I'm just kind of like dusting this on to bring everything together. I mean, come on, come on. I really just cannot stop. Okay, the other one is Charlotte Tilbury, airbrush bronzer. Love this one so much. This is shade two. Um, I'm not gonna put it on top because I don't need it, but it's gorgeous. It's a classic. You can't go wrong with it. You'll love it too. I just think the house labs, I actually think the ingredients are better in the house labs. And I also just like the, um, the blurring effect more in the house labs. The only other blush that I think you may want is one of these Patrick Taz. I love his blushes so much. They are a cream and powder. This is the shade She's a Doll. It's very similar to the Say blush that I use. It's just this, like, what's the word? Cool pink. And he actually says to do the cream on top, which I'll probably do at the very end, or I'll just go back on with my Say. But I'm gonna grab a couple more of, of these shades because I think he's launched a couple more since I've done a little stock of it. So I'm gonna grab a couple more shades, but She's a Doll is a classic and it works so well with that Say blush. And that's just gonna bring a little bit of that color back in because we did put that blush on, you know, so many steps ago. So I just wanna make sure that that pink is coming through. I really hope that this makeup is translating on camera because my skin looks unbelievable. You guys are gonna love this stuff. We are nearly done. I feel like all the heavy lifting and hard work is done. We just need a little bit on the eyes and the lips. So Bobbi Brown, this is the cream shadow stick. This is a dual ended one. I would say just get the regular one. So it just has one side. The shade Cinnamon is my favorite. And I love it because Here's the thing. I just don't enjoy doing eyeliner or eyeshadow. It's just not that fun for me anymore. So this is like the best of both worlds because it's a cream shadow, but the shade is dark enough where I can put it on my lash line, get a little lash definition and then do my mascara and I'm good to go. So that's all I do. I just like pop it on the lash line on the outer part of my lid and then on the lower lash line too. And I do it kind of without a care, okay? Cause it blends so beautifully. I just make sure it's there. I'm just gonna grab any type of like 
I don't know, brush that looks like this, like a pencil brush, something dense, something you can smudge, and I just smudge it all, I smudge it all in. On the lash line, I'll even bring it up onto the lid. This is 100% a slept on product. I never ever see people talking about it or using it. If you want like a true eyeliner recommendation, the one I've been loving, for when I do wanna do like more of an eyeshadow or eyeliner, the Huda Creamy Coal in the brown shade, the very brown shade, I love that. So just wanted to mention that as another recommendation, but truly why do you need anything but this? Like, look at what that just did. It just gave my lashes some thickness. It gave my eyes some contrast and depth. It makes the eyes pop if you have light eyes. Oh, this color is so good. So I am obsessed with this. This, I just looked on Sephora and this is an Allure Beauty winner. It's one of those, you know, with the stamp, 2023 Best of Beauty. And I, again, I just don't see people talking about this. I just think they should be. It's so, so good. You can also just blend this out with your finger. You don't need a brush. It's so creamy. Well, once it sets, it sets in place. And I just, again, I feel like this product really speaks for itself with what it does. We're gonna curl the lashes. I would say grab a lash curler on the Sephora sale, but genuinely i don't know they might have cheap ones on there like inexpensive ones so yeah if the price is right do it but i don't think it really matters i would grab one off amazon for a couple bucks but just make sure you have one because it's uh it definitely is one of those things that i slept on for a long time that like really does make a huge difference for mascara the wreck is say again if you watch my channel you already know but if you are new here this is my favorite mascara it has this like spiky tip on the end right there that allows you to get the inner lashes coated really easily. And aside from that, I just think the formula is gorgeous. It thickens the lashes, it lengthens them. Again, I think they just, you gotta curl them and then let this mascara do the work. Blink on your mascara. I'll show you the before and after in one second and you'll be sold on it. <laughs> the other thing is it's not messy to apply it, which is the other selling point for me. I love Jones Road mascara, but it ended up just getting me so messy every time I would get very annoyed to have to clean it up. That's the other one I really love though. Before, after. Hello. It's undeniable. Say, all these new clean beauty brands blow me away. Like Say is one of those brands that I'm like, how'd you guys do that? How did you do that? And how did no one do it before you? Like you guys are clean beauty that works this well. It just didn't exist a few years ago. So now that it does, it's just so amazing. It makes me very happy. Look at the beaming highlight. I don't even have highlight on. I was going to recommend the Dior palette for highlight. If you want a powder highlight, that's the one I buy, but I genuinely don't think you need it if you're gonna get all of these other cream products that I have told you about today. Okay, I'm letting that dry before I clean anything up. I'm just grabbing a teeny bit more of my powder because we are so glowy today. I just wanna make sure that my areas that get oily are super set. So I'm just gonna hit right here and right here because these spots get oily pretty easily. But I'm gonna leave my cheeks how they are because I love how glowy they look and I don't want to kill that glow. But that's the other thing I love about this powder. It keeps your glow intact. It doesn't just mattify you down where you look, you don't look like healthy. Okay, once your mascara is dry, that's when you're gonna wanna do the little smudgeroo, flickeroo, any areas that got a little extra on it, but I think we're good. Last thing is lips. For liners, I would say go with Makeup Forever or Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury, I believe, lasts longer. So I will be grabbing a few of those because I have been using these so much and I'm like, oh, I, I miss my Charlotte, but I love these too. Charlotte Tilbury, do Pillow Talk or Iconic Nude. Those are my two favorite neutral nudes. Pillow Talk is a little more pink. Iconic Nude is more nude. And then for Makeup Forever, Anywhere Caffeine and Wherever Walnut are my two favorites. So I think I'm gonna do Anywhere Caffeine today it's a little more nude and we'll do my go-to nude lip combo the other two lip products i have are um i'll tell you in a minute i like how i can smudge these in after i put them on they're really easy to use like a lot of people love the refi lip liner because it lasts forever like it's we put the this like clear stuff on top and it holds it in place i tried it i think i need to try it again but i tried it and i did not love it because i don't feel like i can like shade the way I want to. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's stuck there forever. So I like, I don't know, these liners are my fave. These in Charlotte. The color of these are just so, I love the tones. Okay, so once that's on how I like it, I will really lightly just kind of 
smudge and blend. I'm not trying to move it all around, but I like when it's a little less precise, if that makes sense. Okay, so the two lip products, first you have to, have to, have to have the Lawless Forget the Filler overnight, okay? This I use every night, but I would also just put it right on top of this. It's perfect, it's, it's literally perfect. This is the one holy grail that you need. The other one is, I think it's in my purse, the Lawless plumping lip gloss. It's a gloss, it's more of a daytime product. It's not a nighttime product, but again, you can use this literally 24 seven. That one, again, I love just putting it right over this type of lip combo. The shade is Rosy Outlook that you want. This one is Sweet Dreams, but literally it doesn't matter. There's a red one. This is the clear, this is like, but it's like not real pigment, so it does not matter. Literally get them all, get 10 of them. I want to try with you guys today because I got it in PR and it's just like so amazing and it's an expensive product. So I want to test it out with you to see, to see if it's worth it. This is the YSL. It came out with a new, I think it's a new formula. And this is, I don't know if these are all the same shade. It's the YSL Love Shine. Okay, no, these are all, these are three different shades. So we want the lightest, pinkest one. I should have pulled these out before, but I was thinking it would be cute to show you. Okay, so these, we have multiple different shades here. I don't want the dark. I want the light. I think this is a light pink. Oh, what the? Okay, so I think I changed my mind because these are the three shades and these are not generally my vibe. I do like the candy glaze a lot and I have that here. It was just not part of this launch. So the Candy Glaze in O2 is beautiful. I just don't think it's as good as those other two products that I mentioned. So I don't really think it's worth the splurge, personally, for my lips. And you know why? Because my lips get dry and they need constant conditioning. And when I switch to something else, it just isn't as good. I will say I do really like the Tower 28 ones. These are nice and hydrating, but my favorite is the Lawless. So we're just putting the Lawless on today because that's what this video is all about. I will show you. It is plumping, but not in a tingling way, which I love. It is smoothing. It removes all the lines from your lips and best part of all, it just hydrates the heck out of them. So we love her. I can't say enough good things. <laughs> the very last thing I'm gonna do is grab my say blush again and just hit right there. I just wanna bring that a little bit of pink back into the lip. I feel this makeup look absolutely slays. This is what I do when I'm doing my makeup. These are all like my current holy grail products. The last two things or last thing is setting spray. Two I would recommend, one Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, so good. If you need a more mattifying, non-transferring, 100% do the one size. This is one like if you're going to a wedding, you want this one because it's gonna hold your makeup in place. It's gonna mattify you a little bit. So if you're oily, you're gonna love it. If you're more dry, you may not love this as much, but you can just do it really lightly. But this is going to make your makeup waterproof. You can jump in a pool with this. You can hug somebody, you can like touch your face and no makeup will transfer. It's magic. Just trust me on it. I'm just gonna do a little bit. And I'm telling you my makeup will be on till 10 p.m. if I wanted it to be. Hopefully I washed off before that. Here's the look. How do we do? What do we feel? I hope I didn't give you too many recommendations. I completely skipped hair, which I'm like, is it fine? I think it's fine because I gave you guys a lot. But let me quickly just brush out these curls and we'll do like a final reveal. I actually think this is super satisfying to watch. So I thought you guys might want to watch it. I styled my hair with the shark. It's like the Dyson, but the shark. And I used my dream coat. Wow. I actually just sprayed my hair with some water to dampen it. And then I did my dream coat and oh my God, it actually worked so well. Not actually, I'm not shocked. So dream coat is one of the hair products I would recommend getting during the Sephora sale. If you have any type of frizz, which I feel like everyone has frizz, especially going into the summer. <laughs> did you just see me try to brush my hair like that? <laughs> that product is insane, dream coat. Um, you basically just like douse your hair with it when it's damp and then blow dry it and it just makes your hair so smooth. And then I, yeah, I use the shark to style it. I let it sit that whole time we filmed this video. I'm lightly brushing it out and my hair is just like this smooth curled blowout look. And this is like my go-to hairstyle. I don't know if the, I'm assuming the Dyson will be on sale. So I would hundred percent recommend it, but the shark is really, really good. And it's, I think it's like a lot less expensive. Okay, so these front pieces need to be touched 
up. Okay, I touched up a couple pieces on the hair. I wanna just pop this on in case you are interested in seeing it, the Dior highlight, the backstage. And I just like to apply this on my nose usually or like inner corner with my finger. And I use so little of it because it is quite beaming, but I think it just gives a little bit of shimmer. It's subtle. If you use a little bit, if you use a lot, it's gonna be sparkly. It's gonna be a lot, but I don't need it on the cheeks, just a little bit on the nose. Love that. One other skincare product I didn't mention is the Mighty Patch. Favorite, favorite, favorite for pimples. Okay, so this is the final look. I love it. Again, these are all my Holy Grail products. You guys are going to love them all, I hope. I will link everything that I mentioned in this video below. I know it's a lot. I hope that this was helpful and not overwhelming, but that is like a full step-by-step, -step, full face of Sephora sale recommendations. I do feel like there are many more that I could have included, but I really did try to keep it to like, these are what I pack when I go anywhere. These are just what I grab for. And I just, you can do so much with these products. You can do really light everyday makeup. You can do full glam. I didn't include any eyeshadow. I would say Mario eyeshadow palette if you want one. Again, it's just not in the rotation for me right now. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do a little giveaway on this video. I'm gonna put together like three to four of my favorite makeup products that I used in this video and I will ship it out to one of you. And all you gotta do is comment on this video, like it, subscribe, and then make sure you're following me on my other socials because I'm gonna do like a what's in my cart. I'm gonna do a lot more Sephora sale recommendations on my other social socials. Find me there. Everything's in the description box for you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.